What is going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at the simple method of how to get unlimited or at least endless amounts of 81 times 2. So basically what we're going to be doing is showing you how you basically craft League SBC after League SBC into 81 doubles. And yes, it may be a little boring at times. It may take a little bit of time, but the kind of possibilities are endless with this. You can save a team of the year. You can literally just kind of keep going and grinding and trying to get as many players in your club as possible in terms of high rated. We have gone with the big one to start with. Obviously, with the Prem, you get the rare players pack. And what do you get from a rare players pack? 12 rares. Obviously, they will be spread out across league SBCs and non-league SBCs. And that's what we decipher what we're going to use. So we have done the entire of the Prem. So this is is all of the packs you get back so you obviously get a small prime uh, mixed players that is untradeable you get a rare players which is a guaranteed 83 you get a rare gold pack which is untradeable and 81 plus then you get a jumbo premium gold pack which obviously is tradable and also the small prime silvers so with the league sbc you are looking for the specific nations or specific leagues in fact of league one bundesliga Prem, then you're looking at Mexico, you're looking at Saudi, you're looking at, I'm trying to think of the other ones, what are the other ones, you've got Eredivisie, and then the final one, which is MLS, so if we look here, obviously, we actually have none, so what I would be doing with this pack is, as, as we would, to be honest, obviously with the major leagues, I'm probably keeping regardless because they're good for the fodder. Then we're looking at these and thinking, okay, so this one's championship. More than likely, they're going to go up um, due to the fact that championship uh, kind of squad foundations is tomorrow. Then I'd look at the others and think... Is it worth selling? Um, personally, I'd be looking a little bit more of the price of commons for about 500 plus and rares. We're looking for a couple of K. We know that the Turkish lad is obviously in marquee matchups, so we're going to make our K there. The rest may sell later on down the line or more than likely will at some point, but we are going to kind of get rid of that straight away. And then we'll look at the Jumbo Premium Gold. So these are the packs that really you're looking at what you can get to get into the 81 double. So straight off the bat, we do get a few rares in this. So as we look here, we obviously have an Italian, we have Portuguese. We obviously could go ahead and sell them. And to be honest, if you are strapped for cash, I would go ahead and sell anything you don't need from this one tradable pack as obviously the untradables are really what we're looking for. But if I was personally kind of looking at this and thinking, okay, I don't have too many coins, I'd keep my English player uh, or keep both English players and then keep the Saudi. Everything else would go from this to contracts to then looking at what we've got at the end here so we can get rid of the injury. Um, Air Divisie, I don't know if they're selling. We'll have a look to see if they are still. And then we'll also have a look at them kits, but obviously I know personally they won't sell. And then we look at this guy. Okay, so he's going for 900. We'll get him gone and get a little bit of profit off that. And you've just got to tr take the tradable packs with as much as possible because they're the only things that will get you money back from this pack as such straight off the bat. Everything else will take time. It takes grind. With the untradables, that is where we either put them into player SBCs and we get stuff back from there. So straight off the bat, let's go with a small prime gold pack or small mix pack. In fact, we get a silver. Again, we are looking at the kind of higher league SBC players. So as we see, we get England, which is always perfect for the next runaround. And then we get these two players who more than likely aren't untradable due to the fact that we don't normally get bronze players that are untradeable. So we know they're both there are gone. The rest can stay in. Then we have the rare gold pack. Again, you're kind of hoping for as many players as possible. Sometimes don't give you loads. Yet to see a board yet, which is very, very uh, suspicious. But we do get three players. It's very tough. One of them is obviously League SBC based and two of them can go into the 81 double. Everything else, unfortunately, being untradeable, we just keep in the club and we move with it. And then the final one, the rare players pack. This is what we obviously all grind for. Hopefully we get something out of this and then obviously keep going. We only unfortunately get a board, which is going to be Werner or Voland. So 83 rated, which is very tough in terms of a pull straight off the bat. So we get, okay, two 83s, which is always nice for the grind. Um, so let's kind of break this down then so we'll have a look at our and see is he tradable he's not so that means we need to go and do some league gun but for instance we get one two three four five six six players so six players already for the 81 double 
in terms of league SBC, as we know, obviously you could use these 83s if you really wanted to. I personally would keep them for player SBCs at the very minimum, but we obviously get Guy if we wanted to use him. We have Brandt, we then also have Zinchenko, and then finally Auer at the back there, which we will then go and do with the next one. So any untradables, I would then go and look into the league SBCs and think, okay, so we need to go and do that. We've got two out of four completed, so unfortunately, we have kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit by completing these. Maybe we did this with the untradables, but what I'd do then is look at my league gun and think, okay, so if we need our, is it worth going and finishing Leon? Have we got enough players here to obviously go and do this? So we'll have a look at, Le oh God, no, we'll have a look at Leon see what we've got so we've we've got a fair amount of players to be honest we're looking okay we need three rares to be honest that's probably a good shout we can whack everybody in obviously it doesn't matter on the gold for the major leagues obviously for the minors it is a little bit different but we can go ahead and whack everybody here and think what sort of chemistry have we got unfortunately an abundance of center mids and not really many defenders just because we only need so many players i'm willing to go ahead and obviously put these together so we'll search defenders first and we'll look for the cheapest as possible unfortunately you cannot do this for the minor leagues because obviously they are kind of um, maxed out at silvers so if we do this we get these two um, we didn't have a gold right back so we know that we can get him and then we just need forwards so again we're looking at right wing so we'll go with a striker and then we'll also go in fact I bet I can go cheaper because they're not defenders there we go we'll go with uh, the striker here get Oh, did I just go with a striker? We'll go with Dembele as well then anyway, just so we've got two strikers. May have paid a little bit over, but that is absolutely fine. Just because sometimes you can just go ahead and re-rinse them into something else anyway. Obviously, you are looking for that chemistry. It's only 95, so we should have it with all of these. If then we whack him in, absolutely perfect. And we will keep the center back, um, judging from the fact they're probably untradeable. So again, we have used our in that. That is absolutely fine because then that just keeps us going with it. That is good for the major leagues. Unfortunately for the miners, like I said, golds that are duplicate will have to be kind of used in the top two. So then you're kind of relying on the fact that you either okay to go ahead and discard him, which normally I try not to do, or you whack him into an upgrade as well, which once we finish this, we'll discuss where you want to do everything. So Lee Gun, we're looking for how many bronzes? Is it seven? So these are Mac, these are actually Mac Silver, which is very, very tough. Normally with the majors, they give you kind of that little bit of leeway. So we just try and kind of put as many random teams in as possible. I think we've got two little players, but that's absolutely fine. And then we do need a couple of silvers. We will go with you. And looks like we're going to have to try and go with a little player. So we'll go back down to bronze and find if we've got anybody here. It looks like we met. Oh no, Stad. We might have that. That might be perfect, actually. So we've still got only one in there. Okay, so we've got two players somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's a little, if anything. Yeah, we've got him down here. So if we change for you, that is absolutely perfect. So let's just rearrange everything and try and get the chemistry here. Center back there. We need one more chem. Beautiful. So if we double check just to make sure we've given up what we want to give up, which should be absolutely fine. 62 rated at 64. That still gets the rating, so that's absolutely perfect then. So if we just change it for a striker, we only have to give up one silver. And obviously, it's always trying to keep them silvers as much as possible because they could just help with extra things. Bronze packs, we always get back. So that's absolutely fine. So we've now got another mega pack, which is brilliant because we get more and more players as we go along. So again, ours now in the club. He's back into that league on grind. And that is the absolute kind of main way to be able to do this you want to keep all of them players and really kind of re-rinsing them so again we're looking through unfortunately nobody mls is duplicate any duplicates i always sell you sometimes see kind of people holding on to them and that is absolutely fine I'm going to give this guy a lucky throw. You never know. Um, but sometimes, yeah, you can hold on to them. But I personally just get rid. We pack so many players that we just want to get rid and keep going with it. There's no point holding. Just sell. Make the profit. Pack him again. Then we've got the premium gold pack, which is obviously from the second SBC. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. We get a rare in this. If he's League SBC, it's perfect. If not, again, 
goes into that grind. So again, on tradable, we get a contract pack, which for me, I just don't get. So this is the interesting part. So obviously with these sorts of players, he's in the Mexican league. So we will go and have a look and see if we've got any Mexican uh, league SPCs that we need to do. I'm pretty sure if my memory is correct, we do actually uh, have the full Mexican league ready to go again. So what I'd personally do here is have a look again at the Mexican league and think, have we got enough to do this? So if we just go down to the Mexican league, I know this is kind of like the process and, and to be honest i do want to try and maybe do a couple of live streams here there and everywhere kind of answering any live questions and live questions where to get the lex mexican league from where on earth is it it's down this side isn't it i'm pretty sure is it how have i lost the mexican league it's default i bet everybody oh there it is Honestly, you, you wouldn't believe that I play the game. So personally, I've only got two gold. So it's a little bit of a tough uh, kind of pill to swallow with this one. But because I know full well that Mexican League golds are really not that expensive, I'm willing to fork out the rest for them. And again, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. But for this for this case anyway, we will go ahead and fork out a, about a couple of, about a K or two to be able to finish this. So if we go with this, we roughly know the positions we need. A whack in you. Went at the CDM. We, we kind of need some more defensive anything. And we meet, we will maybe put some bronzes in there as well if needed. Just to kind of boost up that chemistry. As normally you don't really find too many of these center backs. So that should be enough golds. And we will kind of bust out the rest with um, some bronzes. So if we just whack all of these players in now. That should give me all the rating I need to get this done so that's perfect so we've actually got a pretty much a full team so we need to just check what sort of chemistry we are kind of sitting at in a minute just change all of these around and we've got 72 at the moment we need 75 chemistry at the minimum so we should be absolutely fine and we'll go lowest to highest we'll think look across just to make sure we're not giving up too much perfect so that again is another pack and this is it this is why a good kind of coin balance to start with is nice because sometimes you do pay that little bit extra but you get it back in the long run you get the packs you get everything and it works out quite well we have got a contract packed here again we're just going to sell all of them on a weekend day so we've got a prime mix players and a mega pack now so again we're keeping that flow going and sometimes you can hold packs sometimes you, you want to kind of do a whole league SBC or do the whole run through first and then go and do it. So this is a perfect pack, to be honest. We get Prem, obviously an Italian for 81 double, another Prem, Chinese that can go for a gold upgrade, Espanol for later. We have MLS, Ligon and English all in what we need for the lower SBCs, which is absolutely spot on. And that is what you kind of do with this is you're just constantly flipping through. And yes, every now and then you need to do a whole host of bronze packs. That just is natural i think with anything you're bound to be able to have to put in that work at some point and then you get the returns back and it's just bronze packs they are relatively easy so hopefully we can go on to the 81 double portion once this mega pack is opened unfortunately no board in it so it was a guaranteed 82 and that is what it's given us so again we've got quite a few people here and again, we've got an untradeable one here. So again, we're going to have to do that. I will cut the video to do that, but I'll just explain this pack again, just so you know. Obviously, with the Portuguese, if you're not giving up 82s, keep them into the club. Prem, League SBC. 81 double, 81 double. Saudi, SBC. Gold upgrade. Prem, uh, SBC. And gold upgrade. It's as simple as that. So we'll just finish off the league on side for this one to get him out of the way. And then we'll jump on to the 81 doubles. So hopefully with that finished, we can obviously get on to the 81 doubles. So it's an 80 plus guaranteed. And we get a lovely board, which is always good. It's going to be a big boy Zapata. So again, another player that we can put into the club. Oh no, Zinchenko is going to be duplicate, isn't he? We will continue this battle, but we will kind of now just go on to the 81 doubles. I can't remember. I can't remember Calvin Phillips being 81, but again, Serie A, you can keep Eredivisie SBC, Prem SBC, two gold upgrades, and then another Prem SBC. So the perfect example. So we get obviously Prem SBC and Eredivisie, but then we do get two Spanish, one being untradeable duplicate. So this is now the perfect example. Personally, I would wait for a duplicate from another nation or another SBC so that you have the 
the correct way of doing this because you don't want to give up everybody and then the next two packs you get the same player and you don't have enough gold rares so for instance if we look at gold rares now and think okay so we've got to kind of think what don't we need in terms of league sbc we do run through everybody knowing that we have got to give up um, a 50 chem, 50 chem team as well um, so we're looking at a lot of these and thinking who links who doesn't and we will do another run through because obviously things do shuffle down as we go forward but we are kind of just looking for porto um, and we'll do another shuffle down now so let's have a look just make sure nobody's kind of uh, missed the right opportunity here a lot of french a lot of air de Vizier. and here we go this is where he is there we go and absolutely perfect so we've managed to do an absolute run through with literally very minimum league sbc grind to be honest it has come from all the preparation in terms of actually completing a lot of the bronze packs and really pushing them bronzes into the club ready to then be shipped off to the league sbc so it does take a little bit to start with but with the fact that we have almost what eight nine days of this you should be able to re-rinse re these every single time you do an sbc so that is it we have gone from league sbcs to the 81 double just from all of the packs again if you're using tradable cards if you've got a little bit of money i think it's absolutely worth it if you are still scrimping on coins anything tradable sell keep the league SB, uh, sbc stuff and sell absolutely everything else all untradeable is what you want and you get yourself an 81 double so we will kind of talk away with a cheeky board we get french striker it's gonna be all oh, griezmann so there we go an 85 i know we've not had the greatest looks in the packs but we do manage to get an 85 and then obviously another duplicate that we'll have a look and see if we have enough for another 81 double and if you don't necessarily have enough you've then got two options with the 81 double you could either then go and put that one gold uh, common or gold rare into another spc like a gold upgrade or you could buy the rest so personally for me i'd go and buy the rest because we we have a little bit of coins to spare um, in terms of this grind but also it just kind of makes sense whilst we're doing it because we're not buying a load and load of gold rares we are kind of trying to be as tactical as possible with all of this i'm more than happy to put a couple of k every single time into this so again we are looking at a kind of 82s and below don't really like giving up 83s at a minimum just because i just don't think it's necessarily worth it 82s we get so much it's unreal but by the looks of it, we're absolutely fresh out. But I wonder, in fact, does Libertadores count? Because that's one we need to go high to low because we'll be looking at here for ages. But if Libertadores count, obviously, then you've got a kind of a little bit of an edge with the extra cards. I just don't know if they count as rares. So this should be a good check to see if they do. They really should do, but you never know. They do. So absolutely spot on. So if we just go ahead and do this. Uh, that'll be need to be there. We'll go with you there. Goalkeeper will whack you as a centre back, you as a left back. Whack him in CDM. And if we put him there, there's the 54. So we have got a little bit of cheat with some libs there. We didn't actually. We forgot about them, to be honest. But that's another 81 double done. And again, we've already got an 85 into the club, as well as an 82. Obviously, he did count, and just in fact that he is untradeable as well. But what I'd be doing is consistently doing this. Next, once you've kind of re-rinsed all your 81 doubles, I'd be then bronze packing again. As we get aboard again, we get Dutch centre-back. Is that going to be Deriv? Perfect. Another 85. So again, we've got two 85s now and another 82 to uh, kind of re-rinse into the Prem. So we've constantly done that. The way as well, before doing all your 81 doubles, if you're not waiting for a duplicate common, is looking at your gold upgrades. So again, these are going to be absolutely perfect to get the rares also. So all of them players that we've got, as we saw recently, so if we literally just go to our commons and go newest, we'll be looking at Espanol, Italy, Greece, all of the ones that literally have no league SBC, we can just keep re-rinsing into these and getting more golds out of it. So it's just like doubling down. You could even go and, and maybe just use the Greek leagues and just use the leagues that we know that don't normally have an SBC kind of titled with it. So this should be enough if we want you at right back. There's enough for that. So again, just from so many packs. And it, again, it takes a little bit of a grind with the bronze packs. But it is pretty much unlimited as much as possible. Because you do make the coins back if you are smart with it. 
So in this two player pack, sometimes you get a board, which is absolutely spot on. We get PK. 84, perfect, so even better as well with the 81 double grind. Um, obviously, he is duplicate, I think. He is tradable, so again, we could... And again, if you've got coins, um, if you've not got coins, sell him. If you're kind of a little bit okay, keep him, use him into an SBC, and we get another Prem grind into it. So the best way for this is bronze packs into them little SBCs, then into obviously the bigger SBCs with the golds. Anything you get from tradable packs, I would sell anything from the untradable packs once you then start getting duplicates whack them into the 81 doubles and rinse and repeat bronze packs league sbcs 81 doubles bronze packs and just keep re-rinsing so if you have any other questions let me know down below hopefully i've worded it correctly and shown you the way if you need any more help like i say comments down below and i'll answer any questions apart from that if you do enjoy these guides let me know and make sure you like and subscribe peace